Looking for the best co-op games on Nintendo Switch? From exclusive titles to unique co-op experiences, the Switch has plenty of options for shared gaming. Join us as we explore the top couch co-op games on the Nintendo Switch. All of the games we're covering are exclusive to the Nintendo Switch, or at least have some sort of exclusive co-op feature. Here's number 20. Astral Chain's co-op mode is unique and interesting. The second player controls the Legion and can move independently from the protagonist within the range of the connected chain. However, the co-op is limited to single Joy-Cons and the second player controls the camera, which can be disorienting for player one. Once you get used to it, the co-op, it is fun, but it's not as fleshed out as it could be. It's just great to see a story-based game with co-op. So give this one a shot. I won't lie, I absolutely loved playing Mario Odyssey in co-op. The co-op assist mode is one of the best options out there, as far as assist modes go. Although it's not as full-fledged as other games, it's still incredibly fun to play. You and a partner control Mario and Cappy, respectively. While Cappy can't stray too far from Mario, he can still fly around and attack enemies. This allows for some fun shenanigans and unique ways to approach obstacles. Let's Go Pikachu is a nostalgia-fueled game that's perfect for couch co-op. You and a partner explore the Kanto region and catch Pokemon together. It's a streamlined version of the classic Pokemon games with a focus on catching Pokemon and battling with trainers. The co-op mode lets you battle and catch Pokemon together, making it a great way to bond with your partner or child. It's always satisfying when you're perfectly in sync as you throw your Pokeballs. The two-on-one -on -one battle might be a little easy, but that's never been a complaint for me. However, the second player might get a little bored outside of battles, as they aren't able to do much more than walk around. Regardless, when growing up, I always wanted a co-op Pokemon game. This is the best we have for now. Box Boy and Box Girl is a 2D puzzle platformer with a co-op mode. It's the fourth installment in the Box Boy series and has over 270 levels across different campaigns, offering value for the $9.99 price tag. Players use block building skills to solve puzzles and gain new abilities as they progress through the game. Respawn times are short, keeping players engaged and motivated. The game has a relaxing vibe that's different from typical puzzle games, and the co-op mode is thoughtfully designed, requiring creative solutions to complete levels. The uphook ability is a standout feature that adds a unique twist to platforming. Overall, the game is well designed and offers a fun and addictive puzzle experience. The Stretchers is a unique co-op game where players control two medics who transport injured patients to the hospital. The story is ridiculous, but it's just not important as the game focuses on hilarious and carefree gameplay. Players must work together to drag and throw patients onto the ambulance, with some requiring both players to carry or use a carry or use a stretcher. The game features different areas with conveyor belts and slides to transport patients. The driving aspect is also satisfying, with players able to drive like a maniac, breaking fences and doing barrel rolls. The game is lighthearted from beginning to end, and each puzzle is straightforward and never frustrating. Overall, the stretchers offers a completely enjoyable and hilarious co-op experience. V, 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 I don't know how many V's there are, but is a retro style platformer game, which was originally released in 2010, but has since been ported to several different platforms, including the Nintendo Switch. The game's simple yet challenging mechanics and catchy chiptune soundtrack have earned it a dedicated fan base over the years. One of the most exciting features of the Nintendo Switch version is the exclusive co-op mode. This mode allows two players to play through the game's levels side by side. The gameplay revolves around the character's ability to flip gravity, which allows them to traverse the environment in unique and creative ways. The game is known for its challenging difficulty with obstacles and hazards requiring precision, timing, and coordination to overcome. Luigi's Mansion 3 is a fun and spooky adventure game for the Nintendo Switch that can be enjoyed in single player or with a friend in co-op. One player controls Luigi while the other plays his spectral doppelganger, Luigi. Together they must solve puzzles, defeat ghosts, and explore the haunted floors of the luxurious Last Resort Hotel. The co-op feature works seamlessly, with both players sharing a screen and working together to progress through the game. Luigi's Mansion 3 is a great game, and the co-op mode makes it even better. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is a great couch co-op game with up to four players. You and your friends choose your favorite Marvel superheroes to team up and battle iconic villains. The game's action-packed and comic-inspired style is a joy to play, and the variety of heroes and playstyles keeps the game fresh. 
WarioWare Get It Together is a party game that's perfect for groups. The game is a collection of micro games that require quick reflexes and problem solving skills. You and your friends can play through the micro games together, trying to beat your high scores. What sets the game apart is that you can play as different characters, each with their own abilities. This adds an extra layer of strategy and fun to the gameplay. You can play through the entirety of the game in two player co op. The game is so fast paced, before you can even get used to the micro game, it's over, and then you move on to the next one, constantly trying new abilities and having to adapt to all the new scenarios coming at you. This is a great game for just a quick pick up and play, and the campaign mode can be done pretty quickly. Cave Story is a 2D platformer game that was originally released for PC in 2004. The game has since been released on a number of other platforms, including the Nintendo Switch. The Switch version of the game offers a number of improvements over the original, including updated graphics, music, and sound effects. This isn't a Switch exclusive, but it does offer an exclusive co-op mode. One player takes control of the main character, while the other takes control of a supporting character. This makes exploring the world a lot less lonely. The only downside here is if one of you dies, you both go back to the latest checkpoint. So make sure your partner is able to carry their own weight. Before we get to our top 10, consider subscribing. Our channel is dedicated to covering couch co-op games from all eras. So if you're looking for more games to play with your partner on the couch, that's what we're here for. Now here's number 10. Yoshi Crafted World is pretty much the same gameplay style as Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Story. You have your flutter jump, you collect eggs and use them as projectiles, and you have the various transformations. But unlike those games, Crafted World took notes from the previous entry, Wooly World, and added co-op. Does this make the game better? I mean, I think all games are better with co-op, so yeah, I'm, I am biased. Demon Throttle is a retro-inspired shooter for two players. The art style and music are heavily inspired by 8-bit games of the 80s. You and a friend control the protagonists, a vampirist and dusty gunslinger, on a quest for vengeance against a demon. It should be stated that Demon Throttle was only released physically. There's no digital version whatsoever. It might be a little harder to track this one down, but if you can, Demon Throttle is a hidden gem that can only be found on the Switch. Kirby's Forgotten Land and Star Allies. So I'm gonna talk about both of these games because I love both of them. Sorry, I'm cheating. Kirby Forgotten Land and Star Allies are two delightful games that offer different gameplay experiences. Star Allies follows the classic 2D Kirby formula and can be played with up to four players. The game's levels are creatively designed and the ability to combine Kirby's powers with those of his allies adds a new level of strategy to the gameplay. And this has one of my favorite end sequences of any Kirby game. So before you dismiss this, at least just try to play all the way to the end. It is great. Forgotten Land is the first fully 3D Kirby game and features Kirby exploring a beautiful 3D world. And the combat is fun and satisfying. The game also features local co-op, which allows two players to explore the world together. Waddle Dee is just kind of an assist character. To be honest, it's not exactly equal as far as co-op goes, but if you have the right player too, they could be a huge asset to your team. Overall, both games are great additions to the Kirby series and offer unique gameplay experiences. Remember when the Switch came out and everyone was whining about there not being any games? That changed real quick. Anyways, Snipper Clips was one of the early games to come out on Switch, and one of the few co-op releases. Snipper Clips is another game all about cooperation with tons of hilarity. You and a partner must work together to solve various puzzles. Sometimes the goal isn't immediately obvious and will require some creativity from the players. This is one we could play again and again. You'll be sure to have plenty of laughs as you cut each other into odd shapes, transfer items to their goals, and do whatever it takes to solve a puzzle. Snipper Clips is just all around lighthearted fun. Good Job is a satisfying puzzle game where you complete office tasks to get promotions in the company. While some levels require precision skills, the game is meant to be played with big swings and chaos. The office tasks are varied and stay fresh. The dynamic split screen mode is the best and most fluid I've ever seen. When you're together, it's on one screen, and when you move apart, it goes to split screen. It's done so seamlessly, you hardly notice the transition. Good Job is a game that lets you go crazy in public space without repercussions. The ending of the story is satisfyingly told through the final task of the game. Overall, Good Job is a great game that fulfills the deep desire to cause chaos in an office setting. To the developers, good job. Brothers is a game heavily inspired by Eco, from the environments and puzzles to the emotional story and fake language. Developed by the team behind A Way Out and It Takes Two, it follows the journey of two brothers working together to save their dying father. The game features great colning and a perfect balance between environmental sounds and emotional music that swells during the dramatic scenes. Originally a single player game, the Nintendo Switch version allows for two player co-op. It kind of takes away the gimmick of the original game playing both characters on one controller. I just feel like enjoying this story 
with a friend next to you really takes the enjoyment up a notch. Both characters have unique strengths and skills, but must work together to progress, making it a real cooperative experience. The game's conclusion is heart-wrenching and features an emotionally devastating task that you must play out in real time. Brothers is an excellent game that is best played in one sitting to fully experience its emotional roller coaster. Starlink is an action-packed space adventure game where players control pilots who battle evil forces. The game has a unique feature where players can physically attach starship parts onto their controller, which appears in the game as a player's ship. Each part has different abilities and can be mixed and matched to create the perfect ship for any mission. What makes the Switch version stand out is that there is an exclusive Star Fox store. So far, this is the closest thing to a Star Fox game on Switch. Even though it's not technically a Star Fox game, it's still one of the best Star Fox games. One of the game's strengths is the freedom it gives players to explore the vast galaxy. The game also has a local co-op mode, which allows two players to team up and explore the galaxy together in split screen. Overall, Starlink is a must play for fans of space adventures and action games. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, originally a Wii U game, has made its way to the Nintendo Switch, and the port has been well received by fans. The game's standout feature on the Switch is the addition of a co-op mode, which was originally just an assist mode where the second player only controlled the cursor to aid the first player. However, with an update, the game now has a fully fledged co-op mode, where each player can control their own Toad. This co-op experience is truly unique and feels like a natural fit for the game. Players must work together to navigate through various puzzles and obstacles, such as rotating platforms platforms and enemies. The game's charming graphics and delightful soundtrack add to the experience, making it enjoyable for players of all ages. The game's stages are also replayable, with a bonus objective to complete each time. Overall, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker on the Nintendo Switch is a fun and engaging game, and the co-op mode is a great addition that elevates the experience even further. Number 2. Pikmin 3 The port of Pikmin 3 to the Nintendo Switch is an excellent upgrade from the Wii U version, especially in terms of co-op play. While the original game did have some limited co-op modes, the Switch version allows the entire campaign to be played with a friend. This means you and a friend can control two squads of Pikmin and complete objectives together, making the game even more engaging and entertaining. Moreover, the Switch version features new side story missions that can also be played co-op, adding even more replay value to the game. In Pikmin 3, players take on the roles of space explorers who crash land on a mysterious planet. As they search for food and parts to repair their ship, they encounter a variety of Pikmin creatures who become essential allies in their journey. The gameplay involves strategic planning and puzzle solving as players use different types of Pikmin to overcome obstacles and defeat enemies. For a game that was not originally designed with co-op in mind, Pikmin 3 ended up being one of our favorite co-op experiences on the Nintendo Switch. Age of Calamity surprised me as a fully fledged new game with the same visual style as Breath of the Wild. I slept on this one, thinking it was just DLC for the original Hyrule Warriors. I was wrong. It follows the Dynasty Warriors gameplay, so it may not appeal to everyone. However, the story is worth experiencing as a true prequel to Breath of the Wild. In fact, the story and presentation might be even more satisfying and in-depth than in the original game. There's so much replayability, you can go through the levels and do different challenges, tons of new weapons and upgrades, and there's a bunch of characters that you can just build up and get stronger and stronger, and it's just so much fun to be able to play the game in split screen with a friend and just fight almost unlimited amounts of enemies. It's a shame that a mainline Zelda game still hasn't offered a fully developed co-op mode, maybe someday. But for now, if you want a Zelda game with a captivating story, hours of gameplay, and the ability to share the entire experience with a friend, Age of Calamity is your best bet. That's why it's our favorite co-op game on Nintendo Switch. If you liked this video, check out our Top 10 Couch Co-op Games of 2022 video. Thanks for watching.